welcome 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 back to another video this is number 26 and in this video we are looking at the design of the site we're gonna change the site from looking like this into this I believe this is much better and the users of the application will be much much happier to work on an application that looks like this than this with all the menus throwing up everywhere on the application okay so this is I'm gonna, this is gonna be our new look okay we're gonna be working mainly on the HTML and the CSS of the site I'm not a CSS expert but I'm just trying so let's see how to get the site from this to this all the codes are available right here on video number 26 all right so the first step would be to create a main container of our site I'm gonna switch to sublime we're going to be working on CSS, the list invoice page, navbar, and the entry bar. So I've opened all of them. Now, we're going to set the color. Um, before setting the color, we're going to set the uh, the main container. We're going to have a div class, main-container. I'm going to do that on right here. So just within the body, right below the body, I'm going to create a div. I'm gonna give it a class of main container okay so that's what we have here all right main container and we're gonna close it just before the body I'm gonna scroll all the way down right here I'm gonna close it, it looks like there was another um, element that wasn't closed so I'm gonna indent this a bit Right. let's see yep all right so I'm gonna say with that alone will not do anything but because we wrapped it with a container or a class or a div uh, with a class of container we can now style whatever is in that container so that's what we're gonna do next that is applying the container style I'm gonna copy this and paste it in CSS right here I'm gonna paste it um, let me just put it right below the body so with this container or with this style we're gonna set the width to 85% and margin auto all right so this will set uh, it will create uh, this site it will create some spaces between the side of the application now I'm gonna do control refresh you can see uh, the sides have space okay and the auto the margin auto if I comment it you can see the side will be shifted to only one side so margin auto will set the side to be centered okay so because we put all the forms and the table in the same container it has moved everything except the uh, navbar because navbar is on a different page okay which was called in but we're gonna fix that later all right so we're gonna give it a background color that okay that will give you that grayish color sorry I'm gonna get to the CSS and give it a background color right here I'm gonna replace this that we have here for some time save it refresh voila okay I believe this is a little bit better and it can it shows our forms or it displays our form much clearer good now we gonna um, fix the form section okay we're gonna create a, a better form Okay, I've covered this. Let me just paste it. I'm gonna replace this form, the form that we have here. Okay, that was the form that we have. I'm gonna replace it with. We we we're gonna replace it with our um, newer way of doing the bootstrap styling. I've already covered this in uh, a previous video. I'm gonna indent that. Um, sorry not this one okay good all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create um, a class called my form in fact we already had that in the previous one uh, we're gonna create a row a bootstrap row so within that row the road starts right here and end here so within that row we're gonna create a column okay and that uh, the size of the column will be 12 that will be the entire width of the container that is this container okay that seems that's the parent container or this one all right now 
we're gonna create a row in it in fact in that column we're gonna create a row and the first row will have um uh will be one tag in fact or uh, will be yeah will be three six nine yeah one tag and the other one will be another one tag yeah another one tag and one tag in fact quarter yeah this will be a quarter of a twelve and a quarter 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 so that will give us uh, four different sections. I'm gonna save it. I'm rushing through this because I've already covered that in my bootstrap advanced bootstrap rendering So you can check that in the um, Yeah on our channel or on the website. Uh, if I refresh it, you can see it has created this um, uh, Three different columns in fact four different columns including the search bar which was already in which is placed in a different column now we're gonna do uh, the uh, we're gonna style this header to look like this. Okay, I believe it's a bit better. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna copy the code right here. That is this my form. I'm gonna copy and paste it in uh, here, just right below the main container CSS. Okay, so we're gonna create a box shadow. Okay, we're gonna create a box shadow. And then we give it a border, border solid with this color padding 50 and padding bottom 20. This we just want to use the size of the bottom section. Great, so that gives us this good color. So you can style this in your own way. What I'll do is I'm just gonna remove it. The title right here. Okay, I'm just gonna remove it. You can bring it down into the um into the row save it here okay you can bring it down here and style it to look like a bigger header up here okay but i will not go into that let me just comment it and good so this is how i want this um list page to look like all right now we're gonna move to the add inverse page okay so we've already applied the styling the body color is set okay so here the first thing to do is we're gonna um let me just see what we have first okay so we're gonna work on the entry page um the recent section okay the recent invoice section yeah um we're gonna style this to look a little bit better okay let's uh take the code and paste it right there and then i will explain how that is done or what we did on that i'm gonna copy this and then paste it right here on the end page. I have this recent section page that starts here and ends here. Let me see. Um, okay, we are taking the entire column. Okay, we are we're gonna replace this entire column. I've already covered this. You can check the last videos. Now that is the column. I'm gonna indent it in. okay save it okay so we're gonna use some bootstrap let me save it and refresh to see how it looks then i can explain good that is much better okay now if you look um you can see text muted so this is gonna uh make the text look as if it is disactivated or deactivated that is this one right here yeah and that one there okay so that is text muted recent icon also seems to be uh, kind of like deactivated or disactivated okay so this one the badge badge secondary badge that's peel is what is gonna give it this rounded um, shape you can style it your own but um, bootstrap already comes with this all or with the style so we're gonna just use bootstrap styles okay so that was the reason why we integrated bootstrap in a previous video all right so then we're gonna do a, a follow-up or yeah we're gonna do a follow-up to look in through the credit sets uh, that was done on a previous video as well all right so yeah and then we're gonna have uh, these predefined classes that will style our um recent invoices just like that okay so they are all bootstrap um in build styles great so I'm gonna move to another level or another step. That is um, wrapping the content uh, into a main drive. Yeah, for the um, uh, for the entry page, as you can see, we wanna wrap it in the main container so that it will have the spaces on both sides of the page. Good. So um, 
we're gonna grab the entire content right from body here I'm gonna do this class main container and I'm gonna indent this in all the way down just before the body okay I'm gonna close the div right there save it refresh I'm gonna do control refresh you can see that styling is applied to it okay but now if you look at this um, um, we are not utilizing the entire width of this section here this block we're not utilizing the entire space because you can see the space that we have here is much less than what we have on this side so probably uh, our um, let's check this one probably our we're not utilizing the entire space I'm gonna scroll all the way up we have the column here that is 9 we have the row okay so within the row we have to set this column to 12 okay and that in a row yeah you're gonna set it to 12 so that it will take the entire width of this um, row okay or the container I'm gonna save it do refresh hopefully that will fix it not fixed it oops sorry i mixed i missed it it should be yeah this will be for the the section here that will be i'll have to save and refresh the page again yeah that will be for this section so this was supposed to be nine and this will be three that will give you 12 so within the nine is what we're gonna set the 12. we have the nine you're gonna set this to 12. save it refresh okay so that's fixed that okay you can see now we use the entire width of the container and this makes it look a little bit better um yeah so now let's work on the but i don't want this um border on this table what i can do is um i'm gonna give this uh, another class let's say my size or um let's see what i will do here on the CSS we have um, my form yeah my form here okay so these are the this is what I want to remove and also the solids but I want it to be applied yeah this is how I want it to look this is how I want it to look but I want it applied on the on this other on this other form here what I will do is I'm gonna copy this and then call it search form Okay, and now I'll give this to our search form that is right here. Save it, refresh. Oh, yep, we have to now um, set back the yeah. I'm gonna refresh it. Okay, so we have it set here, and the margin. Yeah, the margin thirty will also have to go in right here. Sorry, here in the search form. Save it, refresh. Okay, voila. So we have it on the search form, but not on the entry page. All right, so if you want it, you can leave it on your entry page as well. But this is how I want my form to look like. Okay, good. So now we are working, gonna work on the nav bar. I'm gonna copy the content of the nav bar and then replace this other page these are the content so all that we're doing is we're gonna set um, we are setting the home page the uh, we're gonna have a URL the home page we're gonna have our invoice in fact I don't need the home page I can just um, comment that sorry I'm gonna have our invoice I'm gonna have oops, sorry all right, let's see let me see uh, what I get here because I don't want the home page to be there yeah I just don't want these two to be there um, 
this is how I want it. In fact, I will, I will update the code because this is how it should be. Save it. We're gonna have a class, uh, a div with a class of my menu bar with the content uh, of uh, a list invoice and new invoice. Save it. Yeah. So I'm gonna update the codes to uh, remove those two extra menus. Great. So um, the next step is to style the homepage. Yeah. We're gonna start a home page so that's the menu bar that we created we're gonna copy everything at once and then paste it and explain what it does in CSS right here we're gonna paste it so we have a menu bar save it uh, refresh okay great so we have um, a, a, a class called menu bar and we're gonna set the background the color the Display in line, padding, fixed um, positioning. We're gonna set all these parameters, and this is what is making it um, like this. Okay, if I um, get, if I hover on it, you can see it is um, sliding in. And if I remove the mouse from it, it will slide. Okay, it will slide in, and then sliding out, sliding in. Okay, so this is what does that. Okay, so the Z, uh, sorry, the left. 80 is setting the the indentation is gonna uh, indented negative 80 so it will kind of move towards or it will get inside our left bar okay if we hover on the menu bar it's gonna set the left to zero so that it will be it will it will undo the heading okay negative will take it in and zero will now stitch it all the way at the end of our page okay but we don't just want it to just come up uh, abruptly like that so that's why we're gonna use these transitions okay and it's gonna be done in 0 0.5 seconds okay so that's what we're doing right there I guess we've covered everything that we wanted to do on this um, video okay so all that is um, set properly I'm gonna go back to my invoice list yep we're gonna have our invoice list set this way so i hope you enjoy this video if you do don't forget to like this video if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and see you in the next section